Hi, today we're going to talk about science inquiry skills. We will learn about how scientists answer questions they have about science. Are you ready? First, let's answer this question. How do scientists answer questions about science? The answer is by using science inquiry skills. There are several science inquiry skills. We have observing, communicating, measuring, comparing, classifying, inferring, and predicting. For today's lessons, we are going to talk about observing, communicating, measuring, comparing, and classifying. So let's talk about them one by one. Observing means finding more information about something. When you observe something, you use your sense organs. You use your eyes to carefully look at the object. Use your ears to listen. You use your tongue to taste. You use your skin to touch. And you use your nose to smell. Look at this picture. Can you find the hiding animal? That's right, there's a frog in the picture. Nice observation skills you have there. Next, let's go to communicating. Communicating means to write down, draw, or tell your ideas to other people. Scientists always use this to communicate to other scientists. Next, let's go to measuring. Measuring means to find out how far something moves, or how long an object is, or how warm or cold something is. We use measuring tools such as measuring tape, timer, weight scale, and thermometer to measure. Now let's go to comparing. Comparing means to see how two things are alike or different. When you compare, you will need to observe their similarities and their differences. Look at these two pictures. How are you going to compare a worm and a snake? In this part, we can use a Venn diagram. A worm and a snake is similar in terms that they both crawl and they don't have feet. They are different because a worm is classified as, a, as an invertebrate while a snake is classified as a vertebrate. Now let's go to classifying. Classifying means to put alike things together. You can classify things based on a similar characteristic. Look at the four pictures. How are you going to classify these four food? That's right, you can classify them into fruits and into vegetables. Now let's review. Scientists use inquiry skills to answer questions about science. These skills are observing or gathering data using the senses, communicating or writing down, drawing or presenting data to show others, measuring, or getting data from objects using measuring tools, comparing, or seeing how two things are alike or different, and classifying or grouping similar things together. So that's it for our lesson for today. I hope that you learned a lot in this lesson. Bye!